So, Oakland, California, the news report comes out. Draymond told Kevin Durant, you a bitch. You always been a bitch. You know you a bitch. And I've been winning before you even got here. Or I've been winning championships before you even got here. Quote, close end quote. We're going to talk about that on uh, my other channel, Wild News. Uh so let's dig into it. Number one, let's 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 understand something, okay? Kevin Durant does not play defense on the main score of any team. He has only done it one time since he's been with the Warriors, and that was against uh, LeBron, and he only did it for one quarter. So let's keep that 100. Most of the defense is done by Draymond, Clay, and then Andre Iguodala. That is most of the defense. Between those three people, they rotate to fours, fives, threes, and twos. Andre even will chase around a one. Kevin Durant does not exert his energy chasing around mobile people with the ball. He doesn't even guard stationary people like your boy over in Houston. He doesn't even guard him or uh, uh, Chris Paul. So sometimes when you're playing on a team or you working at the job on a team you might be super bad at shooting these shots that's because you got the energy to shoot these shots I might be terrible at shooting shots as Draymond Green but that's because I'm playing all the defense on the main guys I'm stopping points from being made your whole job is just to make points you're not you're not stopping nobody from doing nothing so let's get that understood because we got to be honest. A lot of times, you guys, when you talk about sports, you don't want to be honest. You know, it's, it, it's kind of like when you fired the coach from Toronto. You fired a coach that's winning. And then you got a coach that's not winning as good as the guy you fired. Let me show you another example. You fired the black coach from Notre Dame. Strictly because he was black. You hired a bunch of white coaches and have never had the numbers that the black coach produced you in all that time. But you try to diss the black coach every chance you get. As if his numbers were not what they were. Let's be honest in sports. Let's not just shoot opinions and feelings. It's like saying we're talking Aaron Rodgers versus Tom Brady. I don't care how much you love Aaron Rodgers. The numbers of Tom Brady are ridiculous. And in, in, in comparison to the two. And then for some people to say, well, look at the people that uh, 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 Tom Brady has. You never even knew who those people was until they got on Tom Brady's team. Though it ain't like those people made, made a name for themselves. The last person that made a name for themselves like that was... Uh, uh, Jesus, I can't remember his name now. But the homeboy that came from the Vikings. That was the last one who made a name. The, the, the second close to Jerry Rice. That was the last uh, dude who was able to do that. Nobody ever really, I mean, nobody really had a hell of a name. Oh, maybe one more. The brother that came from the Cowboys, I think, he, he made a name for himself. But everybody after... Wecker, a uh, Wexer, a uh, uh, Wexler, uh, 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 Eggerman. Uh, none of these guys, none of these guys were, were 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 unknowns until they got to Tom's team. So to try to say that Tom has these extra people, no, they have a system where everybody does one job specifically. Aaron Rodgers doesn't have that. The best thing about Aaron Rodgers is he can do what your boy over in KC does. He can run and throw with his feet. But where did he learn that from? Brett Favre. 
He don't even have better Brett Favre numbers. So what are we really talking about? Come on, man. It's not. So anyway, back back to Kevin. I just want people to be honest in sports. It's like sometimes, man, y'all y'all love your favorite person so much, and it's like I hear you, but let's just do the numbers. Let's just look at who's really on the team. But anyway, with, with, with Draymond, it don't matter how much you like Draymond, don't like Draymond. Let's keep one thing clear. Let's be honest in sports. Stephen Curry was on the Warriors with Monte Ellis before Draymond was there. Did Stephen Curry get a championship? No. It wasn't until Draymond and Clay came over there to establish defense. And going back to the days of Derek Coleman, anytime you have any for or even Charles Barkley, anytime you have any forward, small forward or power forward, who is able to bring up the ball like LeBron James, just dribble it up to start the playoff without turning it over. You allow the one and the two, the two and the one, to run around and look for shots. That is outstanding. That is a great system. And going back to the days of Larry Brown, he'll tell you that when he tried to get Derek Coleman to do it. Because Derek Coleman was unstoppable as a point forward. So come on, you guys. It's, it's like ridiculous. I understand you might not like Draymond Green. But let's be real honest about what it is you don't come over to this team because things didn't work out at OKC where you got into another fight with one of your teammates another verbal argument because you don't know how to shut up as a 7 foot man you always speaking out of turn as we say in the streets you speaking out of turn don't tell me to pass you the ball don't tell me to do that I'm the point for it I'll decide whether to pass you the ball so, let's stick to that, and I'm going to come back with some more about this Draymond stuff. But, let's just absorb that real quick. Draymond has a great point. Dude, I, I was winning championships before you even got over here. Buddy, what part of the game is this? You don't even play defense. And, now I'm, and then I'm going to do another video on how Draymond was treated by the team. So stay tuned for that.